All right, so I'm filming a Get Ready With Me. I've already put on my eyebrows. I use ColourPop's Jet Set Black Brow Pencil and Glossier's Boy Brow in Black. I put on my eyeshadow primer, which is Urban Decay's Original Primer Potion, and I set it with Milani's Prep Set Go Setting Powder. I'm applying Anastasia Beverly Hills Boo on Fresco to my lid and my crease, basically my lower brow bone area. I'm using big swirly motions with the Dell M787 brush. Basically, I want to get like a light wash of color on that part of my eye, and then I'm going to apply the same color to my lower lid with the Sigma E25 brush, and I'm going to kind of draw the color out towards the tip of my brow to sort of help elongate my eye shape. Then I'm going to use Urban Decay's Sin Primer Potion to basically cut my crease with the blink method, and once I blink, I then fill in using the tip of the wand to kind of create like a rounded shape and then I'm gonna go back with another brush to further round out that shape. Basically, I like doing this to, uh, the blink method to cut the crease so that I know exactly where to cut the crease on my hooded eyes. And I really, really like using Sin to do this. I've never tried it with Sin before this look today and I think it turned out great. I'm actually gonna show you how I did it on both eyes just so that you can see it in action one more time just because I think it's really cool. I think this is better than using concealer because it's a thinner consistency and it still helps the color to pop. And Sen just blends out so nicely on my eyes. Here I am doing it again on my left eye and I'm just brushing the Sen primer onto my lid and then I blink to make sure it will transfer up as high as it needs to go. And then I'm just rounding out that shape again with the tip of the brush, or the tip of the wand, and then I'm gonna round it out again with the brush. This just is so much easier to me to do a cut crease like this. And then I'm packing Anastasia Beverly Hills Macaron on top of the lid, on top of basically Sin. Basically anywhere I cut the crease, I'm using that shimmery shade on top. I'm gonna use Anastasia Rosette and basically Shade around the top. Of the sparkly shade. Rosette is kind of like a burgundy wine brown shade. And I'm using the Sigma E21 to just softly shade. And I'm going to shade the outer crease and outer lid with this color. I'm also going to use it along the lower lash line, the outer lower lash line, and I'm going to elongate the color out towards the tail of my brow. And then I'm going to go back with the brush and blend it. And this is just the Sigma E25 that I used when I was applying the color to the lower lid. I'm just using this to blend. Now I'm taking the color Suva Beauty Denaru and I'm applying this slightly above where I applied Rosette. I'm just using this to add a little bit more depth. It's a cool tone burgundy, so And then I'm gonna go back with Boulon Fresco just above that, and then I'm gonna blend.
Going back to the Sigma E25 to blend. I'm gonna use a little bit of Anastasia Baby Cakes right under the brow. I'm using more rosette at the outer corner. And carefully shading it to create a fake crease. I'm gonna go into the Naked Ultimate Basics palette and use Blackjack, which is the black shade. just to further add a little bit more depth at the outer corner. And I'm going back to my trusty Sigma E25 and blending a little more. I'm using a cotton pad to clean up fallout and sort of shape this rather than using tape. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is use this card to pull back my lashes and tight line with my Marc Jacobs Blacker 42. And if you don't find it easy to use a card, you can always use a Q-tip and like roll it. But I'm like very ticklish on my waterline, so I find it, it helps me if I use something like this. Otherwise, it's just so hard for me to tight line. I'd love to be one of those people who's like, oh, it's no problem to tight line, but really, it, it's hard for me to do it. Especially, it's hard for me to do it, do it and stay on camera. I'm gonna use LA Splash Medusa Liner. And I'm using the Sigma 6 brush to apply this. I really wish I had a pen that was this burgundy maroon color. And I use basically little dash motions to apply gel liner like this to my upper lash line. I find it best to tight line first, then put on your upper lash line, then do your mascara, and then follow up with lashes if you're gonna do lashes. So while I was off camera, I put on my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, I put it on Ardell Dummy Wispy False Lashes, and then I used Sigma's Final Touch Pencil on my lower waterline. And because I put on false lashes, it ended up covering up the Medusa liner that I did. So I put on Kat Von D's Trooper liner just along the upper lash line to help the false lash band blend better with my lashes. So it really covered up the burgundy liner that I love so much, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna go on to my face. And this is the way I've been doing my face a lot lately is I'll use the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. basically rub this over the center of my face and then I take my fingers and blend it out. And I try to pat a little bit of extra on my nose to deal with my pores in my nose. Then I grab Supernova, blend that with my finger basically right along my cheekbone. Oh, and I should let you know, I prepped my skin with the Emma Diane SPF 58 and the, um, I prepped my lips with the Romalee, where's my lip balm? I prepped my lips with the Romalee's lip balm. This, this flavor is Bellini. 
So after I've done that, I'm going in with the Body Shop Concealer. This is the shade 10 Peruvian Lily. And I'm still dealing with this zit that I've had for over a week from my rosacea flare-up. This is like the zit that never ends. But I'm patting the concealer on the areas of my face that have like the most discoloration or redness or zits. I'm very carefully going under my eyes and at the inner corner here. Alright, so after I've got the concealer on, that's when I go in with my foundation. So I experimented with my Lush Jackie Oats foundation. I really like how this looked on my skin, even though the shade is too dark unless I mix white into it. But unfortunately for me, they discontinued it. So I'm like, well, I'll probably wear it on days that I'm not going to be on camera, but I hate it whenever they discontinue a product. And I'm like, oh, hey, this is cool. You should check it out. No, wait, it's gone. So I'm going to put on my Nordic Veil Foundation from Eden Minerals mixed with my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer because I love this shit. And it's not going to be discontinued, or at least I hope it's not going to be discontinued because it's pretty much the only foundation I want to wear. No, I still haven't had a chance to try the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I haven't had a chance to go to a Sephora and get a sample. And in the spirit of experimentation, I am going to use the Hourglass Ethereal Light. And use this to set the foundation. It's supposed to give a cool white opalescent glow. I'm taking my powder brush just to kind of swirl over my face. I didn't put any product on this. I'm using Physician's Formula Plum Rose. And I'm kind of placing this farther back, almost where I would place like a contour shade. I really wish Urban Decay made a blush this color. That's still my all-time favorite blush formula. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild, the Prin Princess Daiquiri's blush, which I also love. And this has become pretty much my go-to blush. And I'm going in more towards the front and blending it with Plum Rose. I'm going to highlight with White Raven from Wet n Wild. I love this. I wish I could find this in stores so I could buy a second one. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it at a single store near me. I've been into countless Walgreens and CVS and even Walmart. It's like this collection was never released in Florida, or at least not near me in Tampa. 
If you've seen this collection, please tell me where you found it if you're in like the Tampa area because I've been trying to find it with no luck. It's part of the Gothographic collection. I love this big Equal Tools fan brush. This is my all-time favorite fan brush. So I'm going to, I guess, line my lips with Kat Von D's Lovecraft. So I just outline my lips. I'm going to use Too Faced Melted Clover for my lip color. Now I have nice cool toned lips for this look. Let's see if I can't do space buns, which I've never done with my hair. But I remember watching a tutorial from Cora from Vintage or Tacky on how to do space buns, so maybe I'll be able to do this. I love her channel and I love her tutorials. I also love her fashion. She does like some really cute sort of, I would call it like goth witch fashion. All right. Let's see if this will work. She did something like this and then you wrap the hair well, I'm gonna try twirling it kind of wrapping it around like this maybe nope Let's try it like this. Now I could try and loop it around. I think that's about the best I'm gonna get for space buns. All right, there it is. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with me during this get ready with me. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, click on that little subscribe button down below and I'll see you in my next video.